Hi, I'm Frederick Fries, Chief Strategy Officer at UFC Technologies. I'm at Eurosatu 2024 at the booth of AP Fly together with Pavel. Behind me, we have the GTNF, which has been integrated together with the VTOL UAV from AP Flyer. So, Pavel, you can maybe do some introduction of some of the functionalities you have done with the GTNF. Thank you for the introduction. So, my name is Pavel Przygoda. I am the Chief Technical Officer in the AP Flyer company. So, we are a Polish company and we are manufacturer of the VTOL UAVs. Thanks to the flexibility of the GTNF, we have customized the layout of all of the switches and the input port for our needs. So, we have all perfectly engraved functionalities for our UAV. So the operator does not need to think what the button is for. He has everything written on top. And on the G2NAV, on the one screen, we always use it for our control station. And the other one is for the gimbal operation. Next, the layout of the input ports was also customized for our needs. So we can control our external antenna tracker seamlessly to the ground control station of G2NAV. What I really like about the station is that it can be used in a very high temperature. It's very rigidized, so it's also easy to transport. You can just put it in the vehicle and it works yeah. great. So we also operate with the station outside in a tent, mm -hmm. but we have also integrated into the vehicle. Yeah, what is mounted. Uh, yes, yeah. it's a dropped-in module. Yeah in the van vehicle for the operation of the truck. So, is it 24 hours out or is it more in a controlled environment? So, you know, it all depends on our customers. Yeah, Some yeah. of them are using the UAPs for 24 hours operations yeah, yeah. at their borders to patrol because they have some smuggling problems or some bad people crossing over the border in the night. So they can operate 24 hours with some changes for the crew and also for the UAV for land, change the batteries, refuel, yeah. and then take off and fly again.